guys and welcome back to my channel i am sweating um so i got one of these uh smart hoops here um i bought this from amazon um it was on a lightning deal for i think 22 pounds instead of 30 something i'm not sure i will link one below anyway um they sell them all over ebay everything um i was literally just I put it on to practice because I haven't really had a chance to use it since I, I bought it. And um, as you can see, it works. Oh my God, trying to keep this ball rotating is ridiculous. So I just thought maybe it's Sunday today, uh, 1st of August. Happy 1st of August, everyone. Happy August. Um, so I thought I'm going to measure my waist and try it for seven days and I will upload my results on the Saturday. Um, so that's why I'm starting it today, because then it will be seven days, right? Calculations, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and measure my waist. And I did it for half an hour this morning already. Um, but from tomorrow, I'll start filming me trying to use it. Um, so basically, I did 50 minutes in one direction, 50 minutes in the other direction. And it, it seemed to work. I literally just, li I'm wearing like a Harry Potter bed top and shorts and I lifted up my top to check my tummy because it was so like it was so hot and um literally I was sweating so I would suggest using um using it on top of clothes because you don't want these plastic bits on your body I'll just turn the camera around as you can see so yeah it's these plastic bits they're quite hard they're they're springy but they're really hard, so you don't want this against your skin, really. Um, but yeah, it comes with the weight, and this just slides around, and it comes with a ball. It comes with the instructions as well. Um, I will, like I said, link it all below. Look at that cute little heart. But yeah, I really enjoyed using it. The kids were fascinated by it, but obviously this is really heavy and filled with sand, so I didn't want to do it near the kids, so I literally did it in my bedroom here in the corner, and um, you don't need a lot of space with this. You can actually make this shorter or longer, but I prefer it here in this uh, this length. Um, it was hard to keep up at first, but you kind of get used to it. Put some loud music on because it's so loud. But yeah, I'm going to measure my waist and we'll start filming from tomorrow, which will be Monday, 2nd of August. And let's see if I can lose anything. So yeah. Let me just do this. Okay, so I'm just going to measure over my top because this angle I might show under boob and we don't want to do that. So I'm just going to, it probably won't be that accurate. This t-shirt's really thin and I'm usually a 32 waist anyway, like 31, 32. So obviously this is accounting for the fabric. Um, I'm going to try and breathe out. So when I breathe out, it's literally 31 and a bit. Yeah, 31 and a bit. So here. And um, yeah, but let's see if we can do it for seven days and see if we can lose half an inch. I wouldn't mind being 30.5. Um, so yeah, 31.1 inches on my waist. Let's see if I can... Uh do that so yeah guys um stay tuned with my story i look like absolute trash i'm still sweating i'm telling you it works it really does work but yeah seven days i'm gonna do it for and we'll see how well it works and how uh convenient it is with the kids around um what i'm gonna do as well is try and up my water intake because that's always a good thing when when people start their fitness journey to up the water intake it helps you lose water weight apparently I don't know but anyway I just feel like I'm getting a bit podgy around the middle and I bought loads of new pretty like underwear and none of it like it just didn't look good at all and I was just so depressed and I thought I'm the only one that can change this so this is me changing it taking responsibility for myself so yeah guys uh keep Keep up to date with me. I will, yeah, I will upload the video on Saturday um, and we'll see how, how well it worked. And then maybe you could get your own. It'd be really fun to do it together. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you 
in this next clip on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Take care, guys. That was day four. I did it for half an hour, again, 30 minutes. I did it all one way this time because I just couldn't, as you see from the video, I couldn't get the hang of it that way for some reason today. But um, I mixed it up a bit with my legs and I sort of went into a squat and was like alternate, 
alternating feet so sort of like jumping um, side to side instead of doing the hip movements round and round I'm trying to mix it up before I get bored um, but as you can see I'm sweating and that was just from half an hour um, I'm literally gonna need enough shower uh, but yeah it's like eight what time is it like 8 35 on Wednesday morning um, and I'm hungry now I don't ever eat before I work out like because I do it early morning so I don't see the point eating breakfast uh, that early because then I have to wait two hours before I exercise so but anyway um it's going well I haven't measured myself yet and I'm not going to until Saturday morning after I finish the last workout um so yeah I'm really excited um to see if I have lost anything I don't feel any different except I'm tired and I ache like my thighs ache and um, my shoulders where I have to keep my arms up which is actually a good thing um, but yeah I'm gonna stop filming while I'm dripping so guys I'll see you tomorrow for day five <laughs> bye <laughs>
it's got to be accurate right i just don't want to lift up my top in case you know just in case youtube has a problem with it but so i've lost one so where was it hold on let's let's do that properly again because um yeah okay so one two three four five so here is where i am and here is where i was how cool is that okay so it does work it does work um obviously i can't see a difference at all in my waist but let me just give, give you back up here so yeah i can't really see a difference in the waist but i mean if i do this now for the next month maybe we might see a bigger change um but what i might do though is do like three days on two days off three days on because it's it's very harsh on the tummy i will say like my muscles were killing me in the first sort of few days obviously i've gotten used to it but i do think that um when you are building muscle or trying to lose weight you should have uh decent breaks when you're exercising i used to do the 30 day shred from jillian michaels and it was literally 30 days no breaks not one um so yeah it, that was hard that was hard. i think no it was every seven days you had one break or something but i i didn't i literally did 30 days no breaks and i was slim after and toned to f but i was exhausted by the end of it and i just didn't work out for another month after that it was harsh but i did lose a lot of weight i think i lost 21 pounds doing that so yeah Gillian Michaels 30 day shred really does work but I was it was after giving birth so it worked for that but anyway guys thank you so much for sticking here and um joining me for this video it's been a pleasure to film obviously doing something for myself it's been really nice and um trying to change me and I feel a lot happier this week I've been sleeping so much better um just doing those 30 minutes a day so keep active guys and you know Things might change. We don't know. We don't know what's happening in the world right now. But, you know, we're hoping we're hoping for change. So, yeah, just stay active, stay happy, keep your mind happy and um, things will be OK. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.